I'm Josh Douglas. I'm out here on Lake Fort Gibson, and I want to come at you with a Navionics tip for creating your own mapping using Sonar Chart Live. Uh, fishing a Bassmaster Open event here. We got a major creek arm on Lake Fort Gibson that has no mapping at all. Uh, probably largely due to the fact that it is a stump filled one, and, and survey crews didn't want to risk tearing up their stuff to come in here and, and map. Uh, but me, I'm a fisherman. I'm going to be in here and, and I want, this is an area that I want to fish. This is a major creek arm and stumps are good in my book. So I'm going to get in here. I'm going to look around. The best part about it for fishermen today, the technology is there for us to make our own maps. And it's super easy and super simple. Uh, I would like to explain to you real quick how to do it. Uh, I'm, I'm right now creating this map. I, I came in here and I was fishing. I was logging sonar the entire time I was here. There's numerous ways you can do this, depending on your chart plotter that you're running. Some some companies you can just put in, uh, you can just put the card right into your into your unit and record data on the back end, and then go to Naviax.com and submit that. And within a couple of weeks, the maps will be there for everyone to download. In my case, I run Lowrance, so I utilize Naviax Sonar Chart Live, and and I tap into my my Lowrance and I sync the two together over my Wi-Fi on my uh, either my iPad or my iPhone. And I create these. And during practice, when I was in here practicing, I was a lot of times up on the shoreline or moving around the trolling motor, and I was logging on the back end. Um, what's nice about that is, is when your survey crews come in, they, they mow the lawn. They just 100 yard swoops back and forth, back and forth. Well, while we're fishing, we're connecting those dots. We're bringing it together, and we're creating super high def mapping. To do this, it's simple. Uh, in my case, I want, I want to show you how to utilize this on your, on your iPad or your, or your iPhone using the Navionics uh, mobile app. Pretty easy stuff. You just got to download the, the mobile app onto your phone. Most people already have it. If you don't, definitely get it. It's very inexpensive. A uh, way to have mapping basically changes your, your phone into a mobile, mobile GPS system with all the mapping for all USA and Canada. And I'm going to sync that using my Bluetooth on my Lowrance. It's very easy and it logs the data. Those maps become mine right then and there. I've utilized those during the tournament to cash checks because I, I find something that's not mapped or maybe it's not mapped correctly and I refine it so that when I get there, I'm using my Lowrance, I'm using my Lowrance Point One antenna, and I have a map that I can look at that's accurate for right there, right now, and I can catch those fish. Now the tournament's over and I want to finish this thing off and make it beautiful for all the people here so that they can utilize it too and I can utilize it when I come back. Uh, it's simple, now I'm coming in and filling in the gaps, running it off of here, logging the data on the back end, it uploads the sonar charts. Do yourself a favor, get the Navionics app, start logging some sonar, or utilize the log sonar that we're all contributing. Uh, for more information on this, go to Navionics website, that's navionics.com, and for more helpful electronics, fishing electronics tips, check out my website at joshdouglasfishing.com. Tight lines.